Hey, this is Carl's Pat Seat Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own home screen and lock screen for your iPod Touch or iPhone or any other um, iDevice. Um, what is the same size screen of an iPod Touch or an iPhone 4 um, or iPhone 3GS? Um, iPads don't work for this way because the screens are too big, and I haven't got the dimension sizes to make an iPad screen, and I haven't got an iPad to test it out on as well. Okay, I'm um, first going to go to my website. The link will be in the description. It's www.skullcontroller.webs.com. And if you scroll down to the bottom of my home screen, um, if you scroll to the bottom of the home screen, you can download this image right here. Um, I'll quickly show you my website. I haven't put it onto the place where you're going to download it. If you go to my website, like so, and if you scroll down to the bottom of my screen, down here. Um, right here, you wait, and it'll be. I'll put a new. It'll be an eye device wallpapers, and I'll put uh, um it in here. But at the moment, no. Um, I have my home screen and my lock screen in there. Nothing else at the moment. Um, if you want to get bus driver for game, you can get the two folders from here. You can look at my video on how to get that, and also you can get Minecraft too many items from here as well, like so. Okay. Um, now I showed you where to get um this picture from. Here you have a picture of a lock screen, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I'm going to edit it using Paint because Paint is a default program for Windows, and it's um, well, I, f I find it's more easier compared to all the complicated programs. You can use a better program to make better quality stuff, but this is what I'm going with. Um, okay, um, once you've downloaded it and opened it, this up with Paint, and you want to find a photo you want to put into it. So I'm going to pick this photo right here it's a icon of a jailbroken thing I haven't jailbroken my iPod I just like that photo so I'm going to take this photo and what you can do is you can click um, edit and go select all or control A then you can select this one right there what I recommend doing and then just click copy and make sure you set that so it has no white background you can just cross that off once you're done here you just click edit and paste or control V to paste it into the new paint and you can click this button right here to make it see through but um, unfortunately it's got a bit of white so I'm just going to leave it in this box what you can do then is you can then oh, whoops, I'll have let go of it by accident you then you can resize it um, oh, whoops, what have I done here? there we go um, and if you just resize it to the middle part this middle bit right here in this one big area half the screen has gone, don't know why that's happened um, this whole big area there has to be filled up with something um, so this area here can be filled up with anything of your choice anything here can be filled up with your choice um, it can be anything you like um, I'm just going to put a red box there just for time being and what you can do then is that the top screen and bottom screen I recommend putting like um, a dark colour um, for mine, I put some, where is it, if I can find it, here, if I scroll down, I used this dark wood for the top of mine, um, I recommend using something like that, not a picture, because it won't show up as much, I'm just going to choose this for the, for the sake of it, I just select all, copy it, um, open up this, edit and paste it in, you may notice that's longer, what you can do is you can just shorten it down, I'm just going to use this for the sake and cover up that whole black bit right there um, if you want you can just copy it and paste it in again so you have a exact replica what will go right at the bottom and it will fit exactly in again and what you do is if you have something like this put it back to the edge and once you've saved that, that will be my lock screen for example um, let's add some stuff into here um, I'm just going to scribble on the red bit um, if I go file save as um, I'm going to call it home, no um, sorry lock screen um, I recommend putting it go into your fo my, um, your pictures folder so um, your chat um, so you go to your my pictures and I recommend you creating a new folder and just call it um, I don't know um, I've already got one called iPod pic so I'm just going to call it iPod theme just for the sake of it and say and make a new folder and just name whatever you want in my pictures um, or your pictures then just save it in there once you've made your lock screen you can make your home screen um, with the home screen you can basically use this layout you just used um, what you do is you basically then just cover the whole screen up with whatever you want 
Um, so I can just do this and I could add some circles in um, like so um, you can do whatever you want um, I'm just doing this for demonstration um, I'm not going to put any photos in You showed I showed you how to put photos in near the beginning um, I'll quickly put one more photo in quickly um, I'll select um, skulls part of my logo if I open it up with paint edit select all copy it um, exit out open up your theme and just paste it in by clicking edit paste and you can basically just resize it um, I'll just put this really small at the top for example then if you have like a white space around the edges make it smaller so it fits the whole screen um, like that you click file save as and you can just call this your home screen I'm doing this fast because of time wise and make sure you save it in the iPod theme folder or whatever you name the folder like I have one called iPod Picks um, there and just save it now you've got your home and lock screen if I go back and go to my iPod theme folder I now have my lock and home screen um, and now what you can do is you plug your iPod in, mine's already plugged in, I'm just going to open up iTunes here and you can then um, here you can sync your photos if you go to the photos at the top when your iPod's plugged in and um, I'm going to have to quickly choose, I'm going to go that and here you can see folders, I'm just going to click my pictures still and keep that selected because um, this will be automatically deselected then here it will show you a list of all your stuff and you may notice that's ticked what you want to do is you want to click tick on your iPod theme um, as it shows how many photos are in it when you s click tick it and then you apply um, ok I'm just going to wait for this to sync and I'll show you what you have to do next to get it fully finished um, ok um, ok let's go on from over to my iPod and I'll show you what, need what you need to do now ok um, here we are now we're at my computer um, now I'm going to show you my iPod um, I've synced it and all that here it is my iPod touch um, you may see me in the reflection when the screen is black I'm just going to put my password in and take up the screen um, here you go into your pictures or photos then it will say a folder called iPod themes open it up and select your lock screen you made here you can just basically select the bottom left hand corner and use this wallpaper and click select and use it as your lock screen um, but we're not going to do the same to your home screen um, here I'm just going to show you quickly with my lock screen see show you how it all works it's all in the same position and stuff you may have saw me when it flashed black by the way you may see my face in the reflection here you see my password I'm going to change it so yeah I uh, forgot about the camera ok now yeah we're not going to do the same thing with the home screen we're not going to set this to your home screen just yet um, we're not going to set it to your home screen just yet. Um, you want to get this app. Um, it's an app called Designer. It's um, there's a pro and there's a free version and a, um, a normal version. Here I'm just going to quickly show you it on iTunes. Go to my apps quickly and all finger in the way. Sorry. Um, and wallpaper design. It's a utilities. Um, and there. Um, if you get this app, you can literally open it up. It's for free off the App Store. I'll put a link in the description for iTunes. Um, if you click on wallpaper and click on the top right -hand corner, I accidentally selected my camera, so I moved my iPod away. Click on the little camera photo and click iPod themes. Um, the iPod picture, sorry, and click um, the lock home screen. Then click on frames and select the frames you want. There's only like five of a choice, but um, the last two are the best ones, and I think I selected the very back. Um, I'm just going to select this one for the sake of it. If you click on photos, you can then add photos into the frames yourself. Like I'm just going to quickly show you here, I'm adding my lock screen to one of like, the little icons, as you can see. Um, you, that's what you can do. You don't have to do that if you don't want. You can just keep it how it is. You can just click save and click save in the top right hand corner. And then you can just basically click OK. Then you can go back to your home screen and go to your photos and go to camera roll and then just select that as your home screen um, like I'm going to show you now um, I'm going to add to my home screen right here and then there you go you have your own customized home and lock screen um, as you can see it fits perfectly 
Um, you could make your own um, frames in paint, but it would be quite hard getting them getting them in the exact position as the icons. Um, here I'm just going to quickly now put. Oh, whoops! I've stacked that by accident. Um, here I'm just going to put my.